Today I'm going to go over my upper tier eBay pricing strategy that you could utilize with promoted listings. Hey guys, welcome back to Resale Dojo where we grow our reselling businesses together. Now today I'm going to be going over a high tier, a high priced, upper tier, whatever you want to call it, an expensive pricing strategy that you could use in conjunction with promoted listings to be able to increase your profits on eBay. Now, before I go into this, I need to let you guys know that this is not a strategy that you want to use if you're looking to turn your money as quickly as possible. If you guys need to get out of underneath a product as quickly as possible, this is not going to be a strategy for you. This is a strategy that you're going to use when you're building up your inventory, you have extra cash to be buying other inventory, and you're going to be able to ask for maximum dollars for each of your items. And before I get into this, let me know down in the comments what pricing strategy that you guys are using are you trying to just sell it as quickly as possible and going lowest price available are you going to try to sell it at a higher level and use promoted listings are you using coupons are you using the promotions features what are you guys doing as your pricing strategies to move your items in your store all right let me get into what this pricing strategy is so this is a strategy that i use instead of going in and heavily discounting items or changing my prices within my certain categories and I actually go and I increase the promoted listing rate to get it in front of more people's eyes and hopefully capitalize on those uh, new watchers, new viewers of those items and getting them to buy at a higher price because it's pushed to them higher in the search. Let me break this down how this typically works. Let me take say a lower dollar item, an item where the lower end of the pricers out there, you know, some of the guys that are selling this item that you go and look at the sold listings on it are selling for maybe eight to $10. The majority of the sold listings that you see out there are probably in the 12 to $15 range. And then you see sporadically peppered through there, people getting $20 for this item. Now this happens to me all the time when it comes to video games and DVDs. I will see people that don't know what they're pricing at. There are going to be some items out there that are going to be going for like eight to ten dollars someone put on auction someone just put it up there and did not know what they had and they just want to get rid of it but the majority of the market may be in that 12 to 15 dollar range right there's always that sweet spot where the market is usually sitting and then you see some sellers are getting that higher tier pricing out there and you're wondering how are these guys getting it are they just waiting it out is there any special strategy and that's what i'm going to show you guys so let's say for this item, you know, you'd normally expect to get $15 based on looking at the comps out there, but you want to try to get that $20 on this item. If you list it by itself for $20 and someone else has it for $15, you are going to be waiting a lot longer than that $15 one just because everyone's going to be going after the $15 items out there before they buy your $20 item. But if you put any type of promoted listings percentage on your item, you're gonna be able to move it towards the top of the search for a lot more of the viewers out there. And let's look at the math of how this works. If you are selling an item at $20 and there's another item at $15, you could do up to 25% promoted listing rate to be able to make the same profit on the $20 item versus the $15 item. So a 25% rate on a $20 item is a $5 fee. Now, if you put 25% on any item, eBay is gonna push it to the top of the search anytime those keywords are hit because they're gonna to wanna to be able to make that extra $5 that you're gonna be getting off of that item. So yes, if you actually put that 25% promoted listings rate on that item, it will sell quickly, but you will not be making any more money than you would have at the $15 item with no promoted listing. So, you know, you're probably gonna sell it before the $15 item because you'll be pushed to the top of the charts every single time, but you will not make any more money on that item. But I know you guys, you guys are greedy. You're greedy like me, we like to make money. That's why you guys are watching my channel because you guys want to make money. I love making money. So out of that extra 25% that you could have used on a full promoted listings fee, that $5 difference that you had between the $15 and $20 sales price, you could take a chunk of that and actually get it promoted higher than everything else and still make more profit than if you sold that $15.
So say you put a 5% promoted listings rate on that $20 item, that is a $1 fee that you'll be paying extra when you sell that item. But you'll have an extra $4 in profit that you would be making over the $15 item that you listed with no promoted listings fees on there. And guess what? You may be waiting a little bit more than those guys that are pricing at the $15 because yes, people are gonna look at price first if they sort by price. But the people that don't sort by price and just go by the first thing that pops up to them, they're gonna look at your item and hopefully they're gonna buy it from you. So that's why I say for the strategy, you have to be willing to wait this one out. I like to use this on items I know that sells very often because guess what? You're gonna have a lot of eyeballs, a lot of chances of finding the guys that are gonna be impulsive and just buying the first one that they see. Now, I do not like to use a strategy when it comes to an item that has a low sell-through rate, something that you know sells like one every three months and there's like six of them out there. Those ones I go and I push the lowest price possible. So you don't wanna use it on that. You're gonna to wanna to use a strategy on items that have high sell-through rates that you know you're gonna get a lot of eyeballs coming across this product over the next few months. So I hope that helps you guys out. That is my upper tier pricing strategy that you could utilize using the promoted listings rates, right? There are a ton of different pricing strategies that are out there, tons of different ways that you can run your business. I just wanted to highlight this one out there to show you guys how you can take advantage of the promoted listings feature on eBay to hopefully make you guys a little bit more money. I know a lot of people watched my last promoted listings video and said, hey, you're just giving away a lot of extra money by upping your promoted listings rate. But when I did that, I did not lower my prices at the same time and a lot of times I decided to actually price new items a little bit higher because I knew I had that fee on there. So thanks for checking this out. Leave a thumbs up on the way out. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe check out one of the two videos over here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!